Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Today, once again, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hello. And in this video, we're going to be using a Q1200 portable barbecue and we're going to be showing you a dish you can cook, take it away, take it out and about. Yep. And this is a lamb leg steak. Lamb leg steak with rosemary, garlic and a little bit of lemon. So Richard, talk us through the prep work we need to do. Really simple. Um, Try to prepare this so that it's something that you can take out and about if you wanted. All these things could be in a cool box if you are going to the, uh, if you're going camping or if you've taken this uh, to the caravan or just off for the day out. Um, three lamb leg steaks, about a, 200 grams per steak, um, and all I've done in a little micro food processor. Um, two or three strips of rosemary, just stripped off. Two or three sprigs of rosemary, just stripped off. Uh, a couple of cloves of garlic, depending on the size of them, you can go less or, or more. Um, rapeseed oil, salt and pepper, and a little bit of lemon zest. Um, just blitz that up and then just in a food bag with the lamb leg steaks, make sure that it's evenly coated and pop it in the fridge and you can happily leave that there overnight or for a few hours, if, like I say, if you're going out and about. And then just to go with that, some really simple um, little baby new potatoes, again, in a dish with some of the rapeseed oil, salt and pepper, and just roast those off indirect on your barbecue. Couldn't be easier, really. So, Richard, we've done all our prep. Should yep. we take it over to the barbecue? Absolutely. So... Um, Barbecue's already set up, we're grilling, so we're kind of around about 250, 265. Um, it's actually not that high of a setting it's no. on, on the day like today, it's just over minimum actually. Let it preheat for a good 10 minutes, and then make sure the grill's nice and clean, just make sure that it's nice and smooth, good spray of the, the non-stick spray. And then, these are just gonna go straight on, try to space them nice and evenly, get them towards the center of the grill just so that they cook with as much heat going around them as possible. And then we put the lid down. Um, as we know from other videos, the lid down reduces flare up, gets that smoky barbecue flavor, and our food's gonna cook quicker as well. Okay. So I think we'll give those around about a minute and a half. They've been out of the fridge, so they're at room temperature. So we'll give them about a minute and a half, two minutes. We'll check that they're ready to turn over and then we'll give them a flip for the second side. They already. do, you can smell the rosemary and garlic already and it's quite tasty. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things. So I'm really looking forward to this dish. So let's give them a quick check. So if we just use the tongs, oh, look oh, at look the that. caramelization on that. Steaks come away nice and easily from the grill, so they're ready to turn over. We're not looking for char marks, we're looking for caramelization. So if we get a little bit of flare up when the lid's open, it's perfectly expected, we've got lots of oxygen. Put the lid down, we're gonna leave those for another minute and a half, two minutes, then we'll check them with the temperature probe. Okay. So if we um, take a look at the Leg steaks just using the probe, tip of the probe into the core. We're not looking, making sure that we're going through to the other side. So for lamb, nice and pink, I'm aiming for somewhere kind of 55 to 60. So those three are all good to go. All right. Um, if I'll you could just have room. a bit of a clear down, yep. that'd be wonderful. I'm uh, just going to use our separate set of utensils to bring our food off. The smell off this lamb it's from the superb. rosemary, the garlic, and the lemon. It's just amazing. Let's turn that one off. Hold it down. And really, for me, a simpler dish, I don't think you could have. If you could just bring me that plate out. Now, normally you'd let this rest for as long as we've cooked it for, but um, for video purposes, we're just going to go ahead and slice on. I'll let you carry on carving a bit. That's beautiful. Nice and pink, nice and juicy. We've got perfect grilling weather today under here. So, right. So if you want the recipe for this dish, visit our website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. Uh, we're across all the social media platforms. If you want any information regarding the barbecue, visit the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Um, what more is to say? It looks and smells amazing, this dish. Let's grab some of these from here. Those on as well. It's just oh. a really simple summer dish, yeah. evening, weekend, away at home. So absolutely it, found. So, if you want to visit more, uh, see more videos like this, visit our YouTube channel. Um, subscribe, you'll see all more videos like this. We do this quite regularly. We do. It does smell Look so this. amazing, this dish. Can I have a try now? You can, oh. you can, because somebody said that you don't eat in any of the videos. So, no. we're going we're gonna to dispel that myth. Let's have a look. What do you think? That is really, really nice. I can come back then. Yes, you can come cool. back. Cool. We'll see you again next time. 